Thank you, Caroline. Hello, everyone. Very glad to see you all here. Uh, I am Michael, and in addition to being freshly and happily engaged, I am the CEO of uh, Realize. Now, Realize helps brands, publishers, and agencies to make profitable marketing decisions by measuring how people feel via webcams uh, in real time. So the facial tracking tech that we have built over the last six years is really changing, truly changing the consumer analytics in general. Uh, cameras are now everywhere. It's very easy to give access to it, and people are willing to do so. And on the other hand, the, the, the emotions that the face reveals are fundamental drivers of what preferences people have and what purchase decisions they make. So this combination of ease of use and, and deep information uh, is very powerful. And again, very happy to be here today and tell you how it is already used in everyday marketing today. So I'm here with our great partners from uh, AOL. Uh, after my introduction, Mark will take over and uh, deliver the best part of the presentation, showing how it actually works in real campaigns. But before we get to that, why are we all here? I mean, if you have anything to do with ad advertising, you know it's all one way or the other, all about what ROI gets back to the brand. And the fundamental formula is very simple. The, the message needs to be strong and your reach as well. Uh, otherwise, you will just not uh, achieve success. Uh, both the, the, the creative and the media need to be stronger than your competition or you're not going to have great results. It's as simple as that. I think on the media side, we have many great tools already available to reach people in different devices and situations. And the AOL video platform is one great example of that. The big problem so far has really been creative. How do you measure and manage that bit? Uh, the surveys, interviews, traditional web analytics really has not done a great job with that at all. That's why we have so many people annoyed with ads and so many advertisers uh, very unhappy about the ROI that they get from the media spend. So how do you measure creative? Uh, I think most marketers now agree that emotions are crucial to ads. Uh, the, emo the evidence of that has been building up, and the question really has been shifting from if to how. How do you measure emotions at the scale and speed at which marketing actually works? And I specifically want to also draw your attention to the Gun Report that has shown the strong link between creative awards and business results. So it's not the, the awards are not something fluffy and soft, they are very strongly aligned with exceptional business results. And I'll come back to that point in just a bit. But um, one thing that I really want to leave you with today is that the emotion measurement challenge that I uh, just raised has now been solved. And it's been solved by a very new and very cool technology, but the roots of that solution go back to as, as, as long as 1800s. It was uh, Darwin was the first to observe that the expressions between Men and animals are quite similar. So he came up with that idea that some emotions are biological. We're all born with those built into, into us. And that idea was taken forward by uh, Ekman in uh, 60s. And he created the facial action coding system that many know has been the de facto standard in psychology for decades now. What has changed in the last few years is that we ta taught the computers to do the coding bit. So what took Ekman two months to do, now Amazon does in less than uh, two seconds, and that really changes the whole emotion game. The um, tech itself works by tracking facial movements, very tiny facial movements in 3D space, and then translating those to the six uh, basic universal emotions. I mean, we do have other measures like uh, attention and heart rate as well, but those six you see on the screen are the standard ones. It works for any, any uh, hardware, there's no limitation on environment or what people can do in front of camera, uh, it works. It, th the problem really has been solved right now. And I have a demo on my laptop later, so pick me up and do try it out on yourself if you want. The question really becomes now is like, okay, we have the emotions, but how does that help us actually to achieve better business results that the brands are after? So I told you about the GAN, GAN report that shows the strong link between creative awards and hard business results like market share growth, sales, profits. Well, Can Lions is like the Olympic Games of ads, and, and it's the most carefully considered award decision on the planet. So our thinking was that if we can detect what's 
drive success it can. We have found the formula also for business success. So to find that out, we ran our own study. Uh, we took 458 ads that had been submitted to Cannes. Some got nothing, some got shortlisted, some got different medals. Uh, it took us 45,000 people to test all of those ads, but we ran the whole thing in less than four weeks. It is a very operationally efficient system. All in all, we, we got together 125 million facial frames. Every single one was coded for all the emotions that we measure. And uh, this slide here is, apologies for its complexity, but it's purposely by design to show how rich the emotion data is that we collect. Uh, this is only for one emotion and its intensity level for one ad for just a third of the sample that we had on each, each ad. And uh, there are so many ways to work with the emotion data. The, all the dimensions you saw on the screen really um, uh, create new metrics that you look in. in. In our exercise, in figuring out the success at can, we made absolutely no assumptions. We just looked at, into everything. And all in all, we defined 9,000 different metrics. And we wanted to see what made a difference if you got something in can or not. Well, the eight strongest of all of those uh, 9,000 are those on the screen. The single strongest one was to make women happy at the end. So the female happiness level on the second last seventh of, 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 of videos was the most important thing. So it really pays off to do that. Uh, you don't want to drop engagement levels in the last two, two thirds of the ad. You can use negative emotions like disgust and sadness, but you need to resolve it by the end. No confusion in the first third of the video. Uh, it deters performance. Any emotion that, pe that the female was uh, feeling at the end was very important. Uh, growing the trend was driving success and having your peaks in the right place, minimums in the beginning and peaks at the end was the other key thing. So I have, a, again, a very detailed case study. If you want to have it, come and ask for it. Here's just one slide about one variable, about the growing trend. So what you see here is all the videos that we tested on a relative timeline, and you clearly see that the more emotions, the better, and the faster you were able to build the engagement, the, the better it performed uh, at CAN. So the question now is like, okay, now you have those eight rules, but can we actually predict the CAN on a consistent basis? Well, as you see on this slide, we actually can, at least on the shortlist level. We're very happy with the 75% uh, accuracy for our model. It's the first run, we'll improve on that. I mean, CAN is only four, four months ago. Uh, for medals, we need to do more, where there was like 50 only for, e for each category. So it's a very neat and exciting finding that the emotions can tell you what's going to happen at can. But I think the important question really is how does that uh, relate to everyday marketing? How do you use for that? Now, we have done further modeling uh, at Realize uh, beyond that can study. So we're largely also together with AOL, we have tested over thousand different videos uh, uh, against social performance, meaning how many likes and shares and organic uh, views those videos actually got online. So together with CAN and in alignment with the CAN, we found that there, you can really simplify the creative measurement down to those four building blocks that you can see on the screen. Attract people in the very beginning with some spike of happiness or surprise to keep them engaged. Retain them by building higher and higher peaks and, and achieving higher overall levels. Engage people as much as you can. It's not all about happiness. I mean, the negative emotions also drive performance. And impact people with a very strong end. That was the, the, the most, it's the strongest and most important of all those four. So what we, what we do these days now is that anything that we test, we immediately score against all of our uh, database of thousands of videos that we have and simplify the result to a single one to 10 score, emotional score. And that is a very good usable thing because any marketer can just walk in, see the results and, and apply that in, in just a few minutes of, of looking into that. So I'm very happy now to pass the torch on to Mark. So uh, he's gonna tell you how all of that actually works in real campaigns. Thank you, Mikael. All right, so great research uh, uh, proposition. So now let's, uh, let's talk about beer. Um, so I'm the director of mobile and video strategy for International for AOL. 
uh, under my remit comes our video content branded distribution platform. Uh, in layman's terms, what that means is outside of traditional pre-roll, which uh, a lot of advertisers are using to uh, repurpose television, create a 15 to 30 second, a lot of uh, innovative advertisers are starting to come up with longer form uh, video content, and they want that distributed online. Uh, so that's what the Beyond Network is at AOL. Uh, we have global reach with thousands of publishers in which we can take longer form video. When I say longer form video, I mean usually around one to five minute video in which uh, we can distribute and engage uh, audiences and consumers um, in, in a more extended level. So we work with a lot of the top brands in the room, a lot of brands here, uh, a lot of brands here in the room such as Samsung. Um, we also work with, uh, you know, the Canadian government. We've worked with the European Treasury. So, uh, you know, one of my personal favorites, and, and not just because, uh, you know, probably be tipping back a couple of these uh, tonight, um, is Heineken because of the fun and innovative ways in which they engage their consumers and their audiences. Um, in this case, they had a campaign called Dropped. Uh, and some of you might be familiar with it. Really what they did was blindfold men and drop them in exotic locations around the world where they had no idea where they're going. Um, but they came to us with the problem was that they created too many videos. I mean, they had a lot of great ideas and they created 11 different iterations of that series. Um, they wanted to hit three different markets, which was US, Australia, and Spain, um, which was not a problem for us. But Challenges were, which videos do we use, and also, do we use the shorter form, the 30-second version which they had given us, or the longer form, uh, which would be more effective? Uh, so for that, we engaged Realize in, in order to do some testing. Uh, so within one week, Realize came up with 4,000 uh, respondents in order to emotionally test the content that was available. So first off, what should we be using? We should be using the shorter trailers or the longer episodes? So based on the emotional testing scores, we saw that, for example, in this case, uh, which is the Moroccan case, the Moroccan trailer, we saw that, which was obviously somebody getting dropped off in Morocco, um, we saw that there was higher engagement on the, uh, on the, there was higher emotional scores on the longer content. So what that allowed us to do is optimize towards that video and the, uh, in that video and the longer content. And when we saw the results from the campaign, you can see they speak for themselves. We saw uh, 2x higher click-through rates to the brand site. We saw three times the social interactions, which we know is very valuable in the online sphere. Don't ask me how valuable. I'm not going to measure that yet. Uh, but also six times in the content interaction, so engagement with the video. So that helped us with the short form versus long form in each case and, and decisions that had to be made there from a marketing standpoint. But in terms of the videos themselves, um, which one should we cho be choosing, which one should we be optimizing to towards. For example, in the Cambodia episode versus the roulette episode, both longer form, we saw higher emotional scores uh, from the roulette episodes that allowed us to pursue that strategy more during the execution of the campaign. And you can see that the campaign results followed suit with the prediction from Realize. 3x in terms of completion rates, which we all know is a holy grail when it comes to online video. Um, and also a whopping difference in social interactions of, uh, of 12x. So we wanted to make sure this was not an outlier, uh, so we wanted to put Realize to the test. We took over 600 videos that, would, we, that we had run through our distribution platform over the last few years. We gave that over to Realize and said, test each of these, give us an emotional score. And they did. Uh, we tallied the results. What we did after that was take the top 20%, and the bottom 20% and compare how they actually executed in the end. Uh, the results here again, very strong, uh, three times more likely to play to the end, eight times higher click-through rates, 20 times the social action conversions, and 100 times quicker in attracting views uh, towards the video itself. So what does that mean for someone like AOL as a media company, and what does that mean for advertisers? It means the same thing. Um, it means more for less, right? Same amount of investment, we get more engagement and more interaction with our audience. And uh, we know from advertisers in this room, from companies in this room, this is what we've been waiting for and expecting through online uh, over and above traditional methods such as television. Thanks.